Hey guys, welcome to day five of credit three. Uh, for this one, we're going to be looking at how to check a document for uh, spelling and grammar errors. So what we're going to do is go to the word section of the ucflearnfree.org website. And for this exercise, we actually have to download a document. So we're going to check, click on here on checking spelling and grammar. And uh, you guys will have, have read it, read through it. Um, and at the end of it, we can download a document. We're going to use this practice document right here, which is found on page five. So we click here on practice documents and ask us what we want to do with it. Another way you can do this also is right click on it and save link as if you want to. Um, and you know, save it as a Microsoft Word document, which is what we want. Um, and then you can actually go to where you want it to save because uh, otherwise it'll automatically default to your downloads folder. So I like right clicking and save link as, and then I'm going to go to my Flash Gordo here and I'm going to save it in my Word projects folder. I'm going to click save, saves for me, and then I can just open it right from there. Now, what we need to do is now see how I just clicked once in the document and then the uh, grammar and spelling check uh, check things popped up. So we've got the blue underlined are grammar and then the red underlined are spelling errors. Now there's a couple of different ways we can do this. We need to go to the review tab and run our spell check and our thesaurus check if we want to. Uh, but the, the simpler way to do it, oh, went one too far. The simpler way to do it is just to right click on them since the errors show up automatically anyway. Now it says deer. It's a spell deer like uh, deer the animal. We want deer like a uh, person who you feel uh, kindly about. We're going to go down here. This is mis misspelled, so uh, we're going to right there. We'll right click here. This is there as in over there. We want there like as in uh, the person there. So we're going to go there or the people there rather. Um, carry through is misspelled. Achieve is misspelled. So again, I'm just right clicking and I'm choosing the first word on the list here. And enclosed, we're going to change that to enclosed because that's the proper spelling. And there you go. That's how you spell check a document. So you just need to do that. Um, make those corrections using the right click and then you uh, left click to select. So uh, again, I'm going to hit control Z a couple of times just so we can show this. So we right click, have the list pop up, and then we left click to select the option we want. And if you're not sure, uh, now, again, it's just going to pop up the most commonly, um, the words that are closest to uh, the one that you've typed, so they're going to type in what they think. Sometimes you may have to go back and take a second crack at, uh, at typing the word, at spelling the word a second time if, if uh, the word that you're actually trying to get at isn't popping up. I'm a terrible speller, so I have to do that sometimes. Um, so if that happens to be the case, if you've totally mangled the word, sometimes you do have to go back and maybe... Uh, Try to retype it a little bit to get a little bit closer to uh, the actual word so the spell check can actually pick it up and recognize it as the word you're looking for. All right, guys, it's as simple as that. So once you're done, if you've already saved it to your flash drive, you just have to hit save. Uh, if you haven't already saved it to your flash drive, you can go file, save as, and then save it to your flash drive like that. Either way, you can just save it as Word 2013 Spelling and Checking Practice, which is what they already have there. Uh, you just go to Word Project and you'll save it. And <clears throat> in this case, if I try to save it, it'll say the document already exists. Oh, I guess. Oh, no one. It's perfectly content overwriting it and not asking it. So there you go. Um, we've saved it. We're good to go. We exit out of here. And that's it for uh, credit three. Uh, all you have next is your performance task, which I'll go over with you in a minute. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope that helped.